Hello, in today's demonstration, we'll see how to build Sankey diagrams using InfoCaptor. So Sankey diagrams are very powerful kind of visualizations. It allows you to visualize the flow of value from one node to another. And now it is part of InfoCaptor's visualization library. So you don't need any complicated scripting to build this beautiful visualization. So what we're going to do is we'll click on the data tab and we have some pre-saved data that data sets that we can use it. So let's say if we click on the retailer data set. So there are multiple uh, ways you can build uh, Sankey diagrams and if you go on the web there are like you can build it using flowcharting software. You have some JavaScripting you can use it. but InfoCaptor is simplifying the visualization process and now what you have is is uh, right here in the library one of the pre-built option that you can select it so there you have is two options one is Sankey and the other is Sankey flow level so there is a subtle difference between the two and we'll go through each of them so I have is the dimensions and the measures. So let's say I build a simple pivot table using my dimensions. Now this is a is a, it's a simple pivot table showing me a cross between customer class and product line. Now if I switched and built a Sankey diagram, what I see is two I see the from and the two nodes and on the left hand side I see the customer class and on the right hand side I see the product line and this node represents the sum total of all sales for this particular customer class so which what it means is the corporation customer class the total sales is 2.8 million and on the right hand side I see the product line and the sales by product line paper stuff is 2.4 million. Now the flow between customer class and product line is very important. So what it shows me is when I hover on any of these paths, I see the detailed information. So in this case, the source is corporation, the target is paper stuff, and it says the flow value is 740k. And it also gives you the percentage for the flow value. So it says 26% of sales from corporation corresponds or contributes to 30% of paper stuff pay sales. Similarly, on hovering each of the nodes, you can see that. So this is what you get from this particular thing. And there is no difference when you select just two levels. The, the subtle difference is when you have more dimensions in rows or columns. So for example, if I say, let me add a third dimension to it. So I add warehouse. It automatically builds a trellis chart with all the Sankey diagrams. So it, it's, it's a grid of Sankey diagrams. And the same thing if I add, say, ship right into the columns, I get this that is going across and I can scroll, scroll through and see the entire list of all the Sankeys that have been created. Now, so that's where the difference is. So let's say if I get rid of this and I make it big. So let me switch over to this level, to this visualization, Sankey level flow. Now the difference is not apparent when you have just two dimensions but if the moment you add a third dimension to it say the product line so now it adds a dimension as a level in the Sankey so now you can see the flow from node to node to node and each so everything remains the same is just how it is visualized and represented so I can do the same thing I can add a fourth dimension and I can see how it is flowing, the sales value is flowing. Now Sankey diagrams are very popular in visualizing flow values and very good 
and visualizing say energy flow diagrams or budget information and so on so let's say how we visualize some of the pre-built data sets so this is the energy data set it's a very popular data set so let's click on that and the only thing it has is from and to and the value so what we do is we simply grab the from and we have the two and we haven't added the value bucket so let's add the value so now you see the complete flow of value from each node to node and now you can see is uh, you can also highlight any of the nodes so for example let's say if I click on this solar I it automatically highlights the left nodes and all the way to the right all the nodes that are connected to that particular node I can toggle between on and off and I can do it for any node in question so let's say if I select this I get the whole source connected to it and so that's a short introduction of Sankey diagrams and and we hope uh, you love it and you can use it for your uh, analytics requirements. Thank you.